Hello, thank you very much. So here we go, lesson two. I guess one was the introduction, fine. The, the, yeah, the introduction, this is lesson one. The first category of internship that you're gonna be looking for is art. Now, my local gallery has had to close and people uh, can no longer visit like they could before. So artists and art cannot be viewed as much. So we want to organize a virtual tour uh, or contact an artist so that we can introduce their work. We can do an online display and use that date and time to get people to see it so that if they click the like button, we can follow up with them for recruitment. And then we can invite people to do other business too. But it was the art that first attracted them. So the other business do not mind then supporting the arts because without them, the other business could not get customers. So we are asking through the artists to be involved in our marketing efforts so, and for them to mutually benefit. But also we are advertising to attract business so they can support our speech contests and we are able to create value for communities that only business can provide from technology transfer and economic benefit. And in that situation, the speeches are an art performance. So we're expanding art. Art is not just what we're writing, but actually we see ourselves as artists. And it's this appreciation for art and this mind space that when people are interested in art that we're really connected to. So I want you to see yourself as now somebody who can be looking for artists. And if you're finding them, you're getting to know them. You want to see their art. You want to promote them. You want to be an agent of them. You want to find a way that you can film with your camera them doing art so that people who see it online, click it, like it, and you follow up with them and this is how we get the ball rolling. So art serves a very important purpose. And if we find art, it's very important that we find them, we promote them. Our artists are not starving if we're smart because what artists do is what they do. And if we're capturing it and other people get a chance to see it, other people appreciate it. Other people, see, we don't appreciate what's in our situation, but when other people see what's in our situation, they feel the grass is greener on the other side. So this is where we get a chance to have the reflection of people in appreciation mode in a way that we get the benefit of that. And we're mindful for how to use these tools because the person we meet in an artistic context can then be transferred in other artistic contexts, but we can still keep that appreciation mode that we got when we met them in art. Art is so powerful this way, especially when we're preserving what's human. So we can talk more about this. I want you to search for the artists in your area where you live. And these can be people either through your gallery, you know, anyway, we're gonna talk about it. Thank you.